Hi, next week we have another Open Security Summit from Monday the 8th to Friday the 12th. I'm just gonna walk you through these amazing set of presentations that we have to give you a preview kind of of what's in store. Uh, remember that every single session is free to attend. So please share to your network. And it's all about sharing knowledge and basically evolving you know, our principles around InfoSec and DevSecOps. So the first session we're gonna have is um, actually a panel. Um, on prioritizing risks and vulnerabilities based on context. So this is something that I know Fran Francesco has been driving quite a lot. And, uh, and it's something that I, I feel that when we talk about risks a lot of the time, that it, we identify very well risks, but we don't put them into context. And, and it's all about, you know, when, when you think about security and actually driving change in organization, you need to have the context. So, you know, we're going to talk about this and this, you know, Francesco is also very heavily involved in, in trying to come up with these mappings between the CV, CWE, CVSS, CWS, you know, where do I map? How do I get that data? So again, then he's gonna present a lot of the great research that he's actually doing here. Um, and at the, I'm gonna end the day where I'm gonna be sharing a lot of the, the, the great piece of work that we've been doing around how to do scale, how to do basically millions of pods in a Kubernetes environment. And we basically build a, a really powerful um, test framework with lots of really cool, basically all built on top of open source and, and AWS scalability. So we're going to show uh, the details of how that works in AWS and Elastic, and it's it's pretty sweet environment to create you know terabytes of traffic and millions of requests. Um, then, and I just noticed that the timing there's a bug here, so you know this clearly goes you know three goes before four. So Petra and I are going to present. Um, how we, we basically also thinking about creating applications that work across multiple cloud providers with a lot of great advantages for development and deployment and really scalability, right? But it's very different when you develop something that can actually work very, very easily in multiple cloud providers, especially around Kubernetes, but you know, taking into account the benefits and the advantage of each of those platforms. Um, then Jacob is gonna talk about thread mapping, which I think is, is really, really powerful. Again, maps is one of my, my great passions, right? Um, but he's gonna try to, to show us a lot of his research on how you know we can actually map a lot, a lot of the threads to get a much better understanding of, of what's going on. And, and a kind of a follow-up, from, from the one I presented on Monday. On Tuesday, I'm gonna talk about, you know, how I'm also scaling a lot Elastic and Kibana to really, you know, do lots of visualizations and, and how to prepare the data for it. So this is all about scaling data and, and, and a great, you know, patterns that we have been implementing. Um, then uh, on, you know, Lior is gonna talk about going multi-cloud, about secure human and service identities in AWS and Azure, which is, you know, a massive, important topic you know this is sometimes where a lot of the vulnerabilities get created so it's super critical that we get this right and 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 petra abbas and chris from from my security team they're going to basically be presenting how we're actually taking jira to the next level so if you've been following some of the stuff you know uh, we presented in the past about jira and scalability this is another level which is really cool and, and it's really taking to um you know a, a very very powerful risk framework that is now hyperlinked and allow us to make a lot of powerful decisions and I'm going to talk about a project I mentioned before, which is OS Security Bot, where you know that is one of the bases that we're doing a lot of automation. So you know it's a really cool open source project that you know for me it, it's it's how I scale from a developer point of view and, and from a, a lot of the things that that we do. Um, then on Thursday we have the cooking the perfect Docker container for React application. This is all about scalability. Louis has been also working a lot with SES environment. So this is about how do we actually, you know, create that that you know very very nice secure environment so you can just develop very very effectively. And uh, and what I want to do on 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 Thursday is share a lot of the great content that we already have around threat modeling. So we talk about projects in the past. There's some really amazing content that the Open Security Summit has that I wanna, you know, we wanna kind of be promoting. So I'll, I'll walk through some of that information. And then on Friday, we have a session about using Teleport to secure SSH and Kubernetes access. Um, I'm not gonna try to pronounce that name, uh, but um, it's, uh, it's, it's a very key topic. And, and basically Teleport uh, is a company that has, you know, based on top of an open source platform, you know, found and, and spent a lot of time thinking about how do you access Kubernetes, how do you make it safe? And anybody who worked around Kubernetes knows that that's not a trivial thing. It can be quite hard, especially the more you lock down the environment, the more actually by design you make it harder to access, right? Um, Matt, you know, is going to continue his spectacular series of sessions, and I highly recommend to watch the previous ones and to follow this project, where it's all about the ASVS user storage creation, which is all about scaling ASVS. It's all about, you know, really making sure that 
you know, you can take, you know, the, the great content that ASVS has and the great structure kind of to the next level. And, uh, and then, you know, we, we also have uh, Matt Johnson show, you know, doing a presentation about, you know, the lateral moves, right? So the importance of blast radius, which again is, if you're into for sec, is one of the things you should really be thinking about, which is not just about, yes, there's a problem here. Yes, this can be exploited or that can be compromised, but it's always about what is the blast radius. And, I, and, and when we tie this up with the stuff that we're doing on Monday about the context, this becomes super critical because, you know, sometimes you might find that you might have a great vulnerability here, a mass vulnerability, but if the blast radius is small, then actually this medium one might actually be way more worrying and, and actually cause a lot more damage to the business or to the customers because, again, the blast radius might, might hit those elements. And, and then finally, you know, to end the week, um, we also have a lot of ideas about you know, sharing and collaborating and promoting and, and even, you know, rewarding and, and also, in a way, thanking, you know, a lot of the, the community that's being around here. So uh, we want to share this and plans for actually 2021, 22, right? Because we're almost the end of 2021. So we kind of want to end sort of the, the, the week with, with a bit of a celebration of our community. And there you go. That's what we're going to be doing next week on the Open Security Summit. All sessions are free to attend. So I'll see you there and bye.